Right now, a memorial is just getting underway for a toddler who was tragically caught in the crossfire on an East Bay freeway. Jasper Wu was just shy of turning two. He was struck by a stray bullet as, his, as he rode with his family on southbound 880 Saturday afternoon. The CHP is not revealing anything about potential suspects or the intended target, but did tell us this about two hours ago. The investigation um, led to evidence that the shots that were fired likely originated on the northbound side of Interstate 880 and um, randomly struck the victim vehicle. KPIX 5's Juliet Goodrich is at the memorial this evening. And Juliet, you also spoke to the little boy's mother earlier today. I did. She's simply heartbroken, and as you can imagine, it is such a terrible story. But behind me is a makeshift memorial here, and this small group of Asian frontliners came together. Right now, we are at 6th and Market Streets. They have candles lit. They just did a prayer service, and they want to have justice served for this little boy named Jasper. Fighting back tears, Jasper Wu's mother says her son was turning two next month. Instead of planning his birthday celebration, she is now planning his funeral. Uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, it just happened all of a sudden. I don't even know how to react to this tragedy. The CHP is, going to con is continuing uh, to tire tirelessly investigate uh, this incident. And detectives are looking into leads as we speak. Jasper never got to meet his father, who lives and works in China. The two would talk by phone using FaceTime. Uh, Jasper could recognize uh, his father would call him daddy, daddy. Uh, he he is, was such a good boy. He, he uh, read rarely cried. Jasper's mother was driving with relatives in this white Lexus in the southbound direction of 880. They were headed home to Fremont. Three kids were in the back. The family says as they reached downtown Oakland, a single gunshot hit Jasper, who was in his car seat. The mayor of Fremont delivered flowers to Jasper's mother. She also made it very clear this kind of violence must stop. We need people to stand up and say this is wrong. To help me find the killers because uh, I don't want such a tragedy to happen to another person again. We're back out here live where a small group here has lit candles. This is the location where the little boy was killed. Actually, it happened on the overpass, but uh, straight down is where they're gathering to pay their respects, say a prayer, and hopefully find justice. That's the latest here in Oakland. I'm Juliet Goodrich, KPIX 5. Yes, hopefully something comes forward, some information or some sort of description of something um, to help find this little boy justice. It's hard to look at those videos. He was just such an innocent victim in all of this.